Shown here is a 18-foot articulated guide tube. These are typically used for steering retrieval tools, which we'll demonstrate momentarily. Um, as you see it here, it's laid out in a lazy S pattern um, for purposes of inserting or operating or uh, removing tools. It's better to not have it in such an S pattern. To familiarize ourselves with the terminology, uh, this section is the, uh, the handset, typically describes the handset. We have two control knobs. This guide tube has four-way articulation. Each knob will run uh, 90 in one of two directions in opposite planes. Um, the uh, flex section of it is called the insertion tube. Uh, at the exit end or distal end, we have a bending neck. Bending neck is where the tool actually bends. And then uh, the distal exit is as we see it here. Uh, to illustrate the insertion of a tool, uh, operation of the guide tube, and removal of the tool, we're using a 25-foot long articulated, uh, or excuse me, uh, alligator retrieval tool. This tool has a 6 millimeter diameter head. In the case of this particular guide tube, the free path or the open channel from the uh, handset down to the distal tip is uh, 6 millimeters or greater. Uh, we know that because we did a free path test. A free path test is where you would put something of known diameter through the entire tool to assure that that uh, uh, working channel is open. So what's not shown is off camera, I've uh, laid out the uh, insertion tube in a, just a, a lazy arc. Uh, less bends in this is better. If you had multiple bends in it, you're just going to add uh, additional drag in the insertion process. And likewise, with the retrieval tool, I have that off camera laid out on the floor in a simple uh, large loop. So to uh, insert this tool, uh, being its head is uh, less than the free path opening in the tool, um, I can just uh, insert it, and this is as you would do if you were out in the field. Uh, we continue to insert it. Uh, nothing should take a lot of effort, so it's just a gentle push. I feel no obstructions, no drag, uh, and it continues to travel in and through the tool, and eventually you'll see it pop out the other end. 18 feet is a long way. As I said, 18 feet is a long way. <laughs> uh, uh, a little bit of resistance, there you go. So uh, as you see, I, I met a little resistance. Instead of forcing it, I just gave it a little wiggle and it found its way through. And here we see that tool coming out the, uh, the distal tip, and it still has uh, the ability to do its job. So I'm working with the, uh, the handset here, the control knobs. Uh, each knob uh, actuates one direction of articulation. So that's uh, pulling it uh, to, I'm going to say to the left. This one's pointing to the right, and that's as oriented as I see it. This is uh, taking the uh, bending neck and going down, and the bending neck and going up. Um, you still have the ability to reach out and grab, and you still have uh, the actuation of the tool. So. We're showing the extraction of the tool from the guide tube. In order for the tool head to pass through the bending neck, the bending neck needs to be straight. Unfortunately, in most retrievals, you don't have the luxury of seeing the bending neck uh, in your, your visual sight. So we do have a couple reference dots on the control handle, uh, the control knobs. If they are aligned together and in a perpendicular orientation to this handle, generally that bending neck will be straight. Um, as you can see, it's not exactly straight, but uh, another way, and, and then on retraction, if, if there were significant bend in there, this, this would bind. So if you don't find it coming out easy, you would want to tweak your uh, bending neck a little bit to try to find the easier place. But once we've passed through the bending neck, uh, it's just a matter of continually to retract it. Another point is 
is you certainly wouldn't want to have this open when you're trying to insert or retract. Be certain that the, uh, the tool jaws are closed. What we're showing here is putting the articulated guide tube back into its storage case. Uh, it should be wiped down clean and put away clean. There's not much sense in uh, putting it away with uh, debris on it. Um, there is a specific cutout. The hand control handle goes in the control handle cutout. And we're going to put the uh, insertion tube into this uh, oval cutout um, taking care not to uh, force a twist in it. This guide tube is torsionally stiff, so you don't want to force it to twist. Let it go as it wants to. Continually uh, press it into this uh, cutout, and as we get to the end. So in the final layup of the bending neck and distal tip, we'd like to know that the, uh, or we'd like to get it into this case such as this bending neck is in the straight section. You may find you need to uh, tension or relieve um, the insertion of the tool through the cutout as you progress to assure that this ends up here. In other words, we want it here and not in the bent section.